If you tried five pair of jeans and none of them fit, it doesn't mean there is something wrong with your figure. All the jeans are not for you. It simply means you picked the wrong model. Wrong jeans can make your hips look wider, your bottom look heavier, can create love handles or make your bump look saggy. We don't want all these unpleasant surprises, do we? We want to look and feel confident in jeans. So in this video, I'm breaking down five really important things about jeans you've probably never heard of and showing you how to find the right fit for your height and shape. So bear with me. And before I jump into all the secrets of picking the right pair of jeans, I would like to remind you that I have created a special style portfolio for your height and figure with detailed recommendations and key silhouettes that you can get absolutely for free. The only thing you need to do is to go to the link under this video, answer two simple questions about your height and your body shape, and you will get a style portfolio immediately directly to your mailbox. You will get a very straightforward, very handy, detailed, illustrated guide with styling hacks, with key silhouettes. I also added some key outfit formulas for different occasions for your height and figure. And I'm sure it's gonna be super handy for you to go shopping or to sort out your existing wardrobe and create some new outfits out of your existing clothes. So don't lose a moment, go to the link under this video, answer two simple questions, get styling guide for your height and figure and use it as a starting point to craft your impeccable style. The first thing we're gonna talk about today is probably the most important when we talk about finding the right model for your figure shape, and it's the fit. When it comes to jeans, there are nine key silhouettes. The first one is very classic, very universal one. It's a straight fit. It's never out of fashion and it fits pretty much everyone if you pick the right model. And I'll get back to that later. The second fit is slim fit, which is a bit different from skinny because it has more room. It's as body hugging, but not as tight and legging looking as skinnies. And it has a little bit of room around the ankle. Skinny fit, I actually dedicated the whole video to it. And if you missed that one, just go back to my playlist and you'll find it. All the details about picking skinnies and styling skinnies. Boyfriend jeans were very popular probably decades ago. It's basically a customized version of men's jeans, slightly adjusted in the waist and at the back seam. Mom's fit is the fit that sits quite high at the top and it has this retro 50s looking silhouette. It's quite voluminous at the top and can be slightly tapered to the bottom. Wide leg jeans is probably the trendiest fit of the season, but obviously one of the most demanded ones because it really requires long legs and slim body. Boot cut is one of my favorite because it really works elongating for your legs. It sits quite tight and body hugging at the top, but goes slightly flared just at the knee. Flared or bell bottom is an extreme version of boot cut, 70s retro looking inspired fit, which sits quite tight at the top, but goes really flared slightly above the knee and all the way to the bottom. And the last not least is tapered fit, which is quite slouchy at the top and goes tapered to the bottom. And it was actually quite trendy during pandemic, but as most trendiest fit, first of all, it goes out of fashion quite quickly and it's not as universal as the classic ones because it doesn't fit all the body shapes. It looks really voluminous. If you are curvier and you've got this beautiful feminine body, curves, defined waistline, maybe wider hips and slightly heavier bottom, legs and calves, such as pear-shaped women or a typical hourglass, then the most perfect fit for you will be the boot cut. Boot cut accentuates the part of the leg where it narrows down, but then balances the hips by running flared all the way to the bottom. If you have wider hips and curves, it's better to choose mid or high rise rather than low rise and wear at least medium heel underneath to achieve elongating effect. Avoid crop models in boot cut because they will create the opposite effect. Straight fit with high or medium rise in stretchy denim and dark wash will also work perfect for you. And if you wish to achieve more sexy look and emphasize your curves, you can go for a slim fit or even wear mom's jeans. And another option that might be interesting for curvier women is the culotte. High or medium rise in light stretchy fabric, they create a very feminine silhouette and actually is a good alternative for an A-line skirt. 
If you have this beautiful athletic body, narrow hips, long slim legs, not really defined curves or waistline, typical for inverted triangle or link column, then you can pick jeans depending on the effect and the look you would like to achieve. If you wish to accentuate slim legs and narrow hips and achieve a more athletic silhouette, you can go for a slim fit. I would not recommend skinny jeans for inverted triangle because they will emphasize the disproportion between the top and the bottom even more, but they will definitely work well for lean columns. And if you wish to create more voluminous effect and add curves to the bottom, you can go for mom's jeans, for example, or even opt for wide leg jeans, which is definitely the trend of the season. And if you want to create more bold, sporty look, you can go for boyfriend jeans or opt for tapered leg instead. They will balance the top and the bottom, but still look very relaxed and modern. And a small disclaimer before going to the next one, as usual, I put all the links to the products I'm showing in this video in the info box. Actually, for this very video, I made a really extended proper selection of different denim fits for different figure shapes within different price range. And I'm sure it's gonna be super helpful for you if you are looking for a perfect pair of jeans. Please have a look in the info box after watching this video. If you are slightly heavier in the midsection and you tend to carry a bit of volume around your tummy, such as, for example, a typical apple shape or a rectangular figure, then the best fit you can find is actually the classical straight fit with mid-rise. You can also go for a slim fit to accentuate the legs and in this case I would definitely recommend you to go for a slightly cropped model to emphasize the ankles and create a more feminine look. And as you see here you can pair them not only with heels but with flats as well. I keep on repeating that fabric is the king and when it comes to picking the right pair of jeans it's even more essential, more crucial because this is what provides a perfect fit. When it comes to denim, it's most of the time a very stiff, quite heavy weight, very hard fabric. This is what makes jeans so durable. So it's not really made to fit feminine body like a glove. Therefore, it's really important to pay attention to composition and that cotton has a slight percent of elastin or lycra in it. Normally from one to 5%, no more than that. Elastin is actually more expensive, stretchy fiber, and lycra is more used in low price point brands but what is really important that it has as I said from two to five percent of it that what makes denim stretch and really fit your body it is not as crucial for athletic body types very skinny women with very straight angular body shape because you can easily go for 100% cotton denim it will still fit you but when it comes to women with more curvy liner shape it is really important because non-stretchy denim will definitely add bulk to your figure and will never create this flattering effect to your body. Talking about denim washes and finishes, what is really important is not only the color, but the wash itself. Obviously, dark wash denim gives more slimming effect, but if you go for rigid non-wash denim, it will not only be stiff and non-stretchy and sit quite uncomfortable, but also make you look heavier. So if you go for dark color, try to pick wash denim rather than rigid one. In general, wash denim, ideally stone washed, which looks more authentic and expensive, is more softer and provides better fit. Go for muted colors such as deep blue, indigo, bleached blue and avoid clear bright hues because they look quite cheap most of the time. Whiskers on the jeans may flatter women with straight body type and narrow hips, but they may work volume enhancing for curvier women. As for abrasions, some very subtle vertical ones can create elongating effect for your legs, but in general I would recommend to go for solid wash denim without any damages and abrasions. If you're average height, then mostly probable it's quite easy for you to find the right length. Jeans may be a bit longer, but it's more an exception, so you can shop for jeans in almost all brands. If you are tall or petite, then average jeans length, which is 32 inches, will not fit you because you need a customized length. For tall women, it's 34, and for petite size, it's 30. And those different lengths you can only find in specialized denim brands, such as Levi's, for example. 
As I already mentioned before, we have different fits in terms of waist and rise. Low rise works for skinny women with longer legs and shorter torso. Mid waist is a universal fit. It works for all body shapes, especially for those who have curves and a bit of tummy. And high waisted jeans may fit curvilinear women with slim legs and narrow waist and also athletic lean bodies if they want to achieve a more curvier look. What is really very important detail I would like to draw your attention to is the fly, which can be closed by zip or buttons. If the fly is too short, the crotch area will look too low, which first of all doesn't look feminine. And if it's too tight and the back seam is too short, it will also create a camel toe effect. If the fly is too long, which basically means it's not the right length for you, crotch area will look quite disproportional and the overall effect will be rather unflattering. So ideally, there should be at least a space of two, three fingers from the fly to the bottom. And the last, probably most essential detail about jeans you definitely need to be aware of is the pockets. When choosing the right pair of jeans, you really need to pay attention to the pockets. Good denim brands spend actually months on research, designing, construction, fitting, to make sure that jeans have really correct pockets. There are three main things you need to pay attention to. It's the size of the pockets, the shape and the placement of the pockets. First of all, pockets should be proportional to your bump and your hips. If they're too small, it will make your bottom look heavier. As for the shape of the pockets, square and rectangular pockets make your bump look flatter and heavier, which is rather unflattering, isn't it? Ideally, pockets should be slightly rounded at the bottom edge and go wider at the top. And because they are normally attached at a certain angle, it creates very flattering feminine effect for your bump and makes it look curvier without adding extra bulk. And the last not least is the placement of the pockets. Pay attention to the space between the pockets because if the space is too wide, it will make your bump look bigger and the hips look wider. Apart from that, pay attention how low the pockets sit. If the pockets are placed too low, it will create this really unflattering saggy effect. The pockets should sit high enough to provide this really beautiful, uplifting, feminine look. Et voila, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments which jeans fit you feel most comfortable in. Thank you for watching. See you on Sunday. Bye.